Hello everyone, welcome back to our premium course. Today I will focus about steer deck, start connector, and how you can change and add the material. Click on one beams. Okay, turn off the slab item. Click on one beam. Right click. Open member view. Yeah, this is the column and main beam, sub beam. You can take a mouse over the uh, I 140H and main beam I 122. Steer deck. You can uh, change uh, steer deck and uh, steer deck and uh, Y mesh. Later, I will show you how you can change start connector. Yeah, this is the start connector. You can click on the steel beam to check information about steel beam. Close. So the slab item. You can model and edit by click on panel or click on the the wall one select slab panel you want to edit okay now simple I want to edit this slab panel click on it scroll down and change the country you can change to the big uh, country available uh, for this material you can change it to uh, Korea Taiwan Thailand or China and select the manufacturer and select the uh, reference. Yes, you can click and check with the reference that you can use in your country for the wire and reinforcement. We had to edit in material. I have shown you in the how to add section and material in the class structural designer. Come back to the material on the reinforcement chain from the tie loss bar to mesh and add new mesh. You can tie it my mesh. Okay, input the deform, uh, deform uh, rebar, the minimum gear strength 390 or whatever steel grade you can input here. Yeah. And tie it 390. The the steel uh, the strength of Y may all the way higher than the uh, normal rebar. So we should uh, keep in the fold. Contact manufacturer and ask about the steel uh, steel grade. Okay, it may be around 400 CT, not uh, 400 uh, 390. Okay. And you can add a volleyball size, uh, a volleyball mesh size, tie it, uh, D O O diameter six millimeter, change it to six, and input uh, the parameter spacing and the ripple length. Yeah, you can calculate it. Diameter, yeah, everything here is the same. So you have to input it. You see how you can add uh, the mesh in the cloud structural designer. Click on the shear start connector, it's the same, add, and you can input it. Okay, and diameter can add a diameter 20, simple high 100. And as well, did high all the way less than the high uh, 10 millimeter, so it's around 90 millimeter. And if no, do not input string. Uh, this over here, you have to input the diameter high and where the high is okay. Click on OK. Yes, you see here, this is the diameter multiplied with high. How you can add a uh, custom start connector in the cloud structural designer 
Oops, to that you can click on on the composite slate to check. Yeah, you can change the the mesh size and uh, rip and the mesh grade also can uh, the mesh grade you also can change it by size. Now I turn the slab item off. I click on the composite beam. This is the start strength. You can check. You can change the uh, the the start sort to the our customer start and diameter start high. Everything is the same. And connector lay layout, you can change it. Main group, mark group. Thank you for your watching. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Thank you.